Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Until now, we have learned how to configure and use MPTCP. We know that if we configure MPTCP on our system and the server is supporting MPTCP, uh, we can use the interfaces that are connected to our client. For example, right now, uh, in my system, I have 5G connection and Ethernet connection and this website is supporting MPTCP. So if I download the file from this website, uh, as you can see, both of my interfaces, this one is for 5G, this one is for Ethernet, are being used. And in this case, I can have more bandwidth and faster internet. But the question is that if the server is not supporting MPTCP, for example, YouTube. Uh, can we have multipassing and can we uh, benefit from multipassing? The answer is no. For example, if I want to watch this video on YouTube, which is a 4K video, uh, because YouTube is not supporting MPTCP, you can see only my 5G connection is being used and the bandwidth that I have in my Ethernet uh, is being wasted. What is the solution? What is the solution for having multipassing in this case? Because right now we have a lot of servers that they don't support multipassing. The answer is using proxy server. What is a proxy server? Okay, look at this image. This is my client and this is a server. If the server is going to support multipassing, okay, the red arrows are for multipassing and multipassing is supported and we don't need to do anything. But when it is not supporting multipassing, we uh, use a server as an intermediate node to have proxy implementation to forward the traffic between, between client and server. Okay, let's have a look on more detail. I have a server. For example, in my case, it is running Ubuntu 18. I configure MPTCP. So from the client to the server, the connection is going to be multipassed. I put a proxy on the server. As a result, the server can redirect the request and data from the public server. In this case, from the client to the server is going to be multipassed, which is important for us because it is the uh, bottleneck part of the network and it is the part that we have problems and from the server to uh, from the proxy server to a public server that is not supporting multipassing the connection is uh, going to be single passed in this case imagine the client wants to watch a video from youtube it sends a request to proxy server it is uh, it forwards it to the public server then it gets the data by a single pass and after that, it transmitted, it transferred the data to the client by using multi-passing, by using more than one connection. So we can have increased bandwidth on the client side. But for this, what should I do? Okay, this is my server client, uh, my proxy server, where I'm going to run the proxy. Uh, for having a proxy, I recommend downloading macrosax5 for this go to the macrosax5 GitLab, github link which is in the description and download it to your server macrosax5 is a multi-thread small efficient sax which is a very uh, light weighted proxy that can give us the benefits that we want after downloading it to your proxy server Go to the uh, folder of your uh, macro sax, then run the make command. In this case, uh, it is going to make it and you can use macro sax. When you want to run macro sax files, you are in the folder, you type dot dash macro sax command. Then you should specify which port are you going to listen. For example, I'm going to listen to listen in port 1080 in this case my uh, right now this uh, this node which is the proxy node is ready to listen now we should 
make some changes on the client side to forward the traffic uh, or the request to the server then to be forwarded to the public server on the client side uh, we should uh, do this on your browser for example i'm using firefox go to the setting part go to the proxy setting or simply type proxy go to the setting and choose manual proxy configuration if we put it on no proxy okay it is not going to use proxy but when we choose this one we can use sox or proxies on the sox part on the port write 1080 because the server is listening on 1080 and in this part you should type or paste the ip of your proxy server which i'm going to pause the video and uh, paste my ip now i have proxy configuration done on the server side and on the client side let's watch the video again and see what is going to be different okay as you can see both of my uh, internet connections are being used the proxy is listening forwarding the traffic 5g and ethernet both of them are being used and as you can see because uh, in combination they have more bandwidth uh, we have some gaps because there are enough buffering so by running proxy implementation we could improve the bandwidth and speed of our internet this can be correct for any other servers for example imagine you want to download ubuntu uh, 18 file for example you go to the website you download it and you can see both of them my ethernet and 5g are being used and they are increasing the bandwidth that i have and i can have faster internet so in conclusion when the uh, public server is not supporting mptcp the connection is going to fall back to singular uh, to single tcp and uh, we don't we cannot benefit from having multipassing in this case we put a proxy server in the middle which can forward transmit the request the data and bring multipassing to the client side what is the benefit in this case the client side can be can have more bandwidth and the user experience can be increased this help us to have uh, in, indeed faster internet